Welcome to the Two Minute Warning, guys. I am Kelly in Vegas. As you can tell, I'm already in studio ready to shoot. But Will Bernanke from CG Technology is going to help us out, talk to us about where the public sharp money, any kind of ticket count is going. Will and I are going to start off with the Colts at the Philadelphia Eagles. Little interesting line move here. Went from seven, then it went to six and a half, five, or I'm sorry, six and a half is now still uh, available at CG Technology. Tell me who you guys need in this one and where the money's going. Well, it's, it opened at six and a half, Kelly. It's currently uh, at six and a half. It did hit seven and came back down. Right now, 63% of all dollars are on the Eagles, and it's mostly public money. Nice. All right, another game that I'm a little nervous about. Saints was my favorite pick this week. I played it in the Super Contest, and so did about 900 others. So that's always kind of the kiss of death. Uh, Saints were a three-point dog, now plus one and a half. Uh, what are you thinking about this one? Yeah, it opened at three. It's now uh, two and a half. Atlanta's two and a half. And there's some one and a halfs out there, so I expect this to continue to drop a bit. Uh, 70% of all dollars are on the Saints. It's, it's somewhat of a public dog. Could be one of our bigger liabilities, uh, the Saints. We took a uh, respected bet on the Saints plus three earlier in the week. All right, so it makes me feel a little bit better there. Okay, another one, just because I have to ask, the biggest spread on the board this week, Vikings yeah. minus 16 and a half. I played it because I love Coach Zimmer. Um, I didn't play in real life, I should say. I played in the Super Contest just because he has such a great ATS record, and, well, it's the Bills. I know I'm not giving too much credit to the Bills' defense, but yeah. that being said, I'm guessing you guys are absolutely loaded with Vikings money. Yeah, rightfully so. No, not much credit to the Bills' defense thus far. Uh, right now, it's, it is our biggest liability currently, still an hour before kickoff. Uh, 80% of all dollars are on the Vikings. Uh, we did take a respected bet on the Vikings at uh, minus uh, 16. All right, nice stuff. Okay, interesting, just because I have to ask, Broncos have been historically terrible on the road, so I played the Ravens minus 5.5, but I heard the Sharp guys were kind of looking at this Broncos team catching 5 now. Yeah, this is an interesting game. You know, Broncos not getting much respect, even though they're two and zero. Listen, you win your games; that's all that matters. Not how you do it, and it's not your competition. It's, it's winning your games. The NFL here, and they're not getting much respect. The Ravens are off their loss. Uh, they had the long week, and I know a lot of respected betters like that ten day preparation as opposed to the team that played a divisional game last week. But sixty four percent of all dollars are on the Ravens, and it's uh, it opened up at five and a half. It's currently five and a half. Uh, it could get up to six, and ninety uh, percent of all dollars, believe it or not, are on the over in this game, forty-three to forty-six. All right. Okay. So another game, we saw some line movement in Chiefs. I was hoping to get the Niners at seven. This one opened at six and a half, and now Niners only catching five and a half. Are we seeing the sharp guys play the Forty ers Yeah, we took a respected bet on the Niners at uh, six and a half a couple days ago. So this this game has just turned around as far as where I thought it would go. I thought it'd be all not, uh, Chiefs money. But 65% of all the dollars are on the 49ers right now. Open at 6, and it's currently sitting at 6. And we've taken some under money, 56 down to 54. That's really interesting. I would have totally thought that the whole world was going to be on the Kansas yeah. City Chiefs in this one. All right, last but not least, I'm going to ask you about one of my favorite games on the board, Cardinals catching 6. We haven't seen much mm -hmm. line move, at least not on my screen, maybe over there at CG. Um, everybody thinks I'm crazy that the Cardinals can win this game. Yeah, well, you know, listen, anything, anything can happen. happen. Never as bad as you looked the week before, never as good as you looked the week before. Uh, Bears uh, opened up at five and a half, and they played their, uh, you know, their Monday night game. Looked pretty good. They're up to six now. Total went from thirty-seven and a half to thirty-eight and a half. We took a respected bet on the uh, Arizona Cardinals at plus six on Friday, and actually, sixty-one percent of all dollars are on Arizona as we speak. But that could change up to kickoff. You know, public betters will. Uh, probably load up on the Bears, you know, before the 125 local time kickoff. Awesome. Great stuff from Will. Make sure you guys head over to CG Technology to get all of your bets in, and uh, make sure you guys check us out again next week.